and we are back. Hello everyone, welcome back to 5 Minutes Code channel where I will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than 5 minutes. So without wasting time, let's get started. Today's problem is rotate by 90 degree which is marked as an easy level problem. Let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do. So basically, we will be given one integer 2D array with name matrix and what we have to do, we have to rotate this matrix, we have to rotate this 2D array by 90 degrees. Okay, we have to rotate this 2D array by 90 degrees how it will look so basically if you have a cube if you have a cube so if you know a cube will have uh, rubik's cube rubik's cube okay so it will have something like this colors different different colors and if you will rotate it once anti-clockwise if you will rotate it once yeah if you will rotate it once anti-clockwise in this direction so how it will look how it will look look all three columns these columns will become first row last column will become first row second last column will become middle row like the middle column will become middle row and after that the first column first column will become the last row okay so in this way it will rotate and uh, new colors will be there new colors will be there okay all right same thing is happening here as well same thing i have to do with my matrix as well so what we are going to do look this is our new our matrix given so basically what i told last column will become first row last column will become first row so you can see 3 6 9 last column will become first row after that after that the second last column the middle column 2 5 8 will become the a middle row and after that the first column the first column will become the first row Ah, first column will become the last row first column will become the last row in this way three things are there and uh, it will be done okay one thing you can notice that we will always be given a square matrix we will always be given a square matrix because we cannot rotate a uh, let's say rectangular matrix rectangular matrix we cannot rotate properly okay because uh, look like columns for, for the first time columns will be four let's suppose for the first time columns are four and rows are two and after rotating it now rows will be four after rotating it rows will be four and columns will be two so we have to take a new array okay but we have to avoid it we have to avoid taking a new array and try to solve it without taking any extra space as it is directly given in the problem as well okay all right so how are we going to solve it then? because look if we have to take extra space if we have to take extra space it's become very very easy Sim simply very simply i will take may take a new array i will take a new array of same size and after that what i will do last column look i will iterate from the columns so first of all the last column and store it in my first row 3 6 9 after that after that the second last column 2 5 8 store it okay as a middle row after that the first column first column will become the last row something like 1 4 7 and that is our answer that is our answer okay so if i have a new array i can take a new array it's a very very cake walk for us it's a cake walk for us okay all right but we cannot take new array because it's directly written in the problem so how are we going to solve it then look this is this problem is a very classic interview problem and we will divide it into two parts we will divide it into two parts first of all we will calculate the transpose of matrix we will calculate we will calculate transpose of matrix okay so what is transpose if you are doing btech if you are doing bca mc i think everyone should have a, a chapter in mathematics that is determinant and i guess there we will always be taught about what is transpose of a matrix so basically look transpose basically means all the rows will become a column so something like one now look this two and four this two and four they will be exchanged they will be exchanged okay three five seven they will be reversed 6 8 it will be reversed and 9 is basically same so it does not have any impact if it is reversed okay so basically look 2 if i will write 2 it is something like matrix of ij matrix of 0 row 0 row and first column okay i can denote this 2 this 2 as a matrix of 0 1 okay all right so after transposing it will become something like matrix of 1 0 like the number row number will become column number and column number will become row number after the transpose okay all right similarly similarly if i will talk about this three if i will talk about this three so it is something like matrix of zero comma two zero comma two okay all right now after transpose after transpose it will become something like two zero two zero okay 
all right so this is what is transpose so first of all i will do the transpose and after transposing it what will be the new array i will get so basically look one is what this one is zero zero this one is zero zero so it will not have any impact after that this four this four is zero one zero one oh sorry it is one zero this four is one zero so after transposing it will become zero one zero one basically means this here one four similarly seven will come here okay after that similarly look one four seven is done so look uh, two was earlier at zero one now it will be one zero zero one it will become one zero so two will come here five will come here similarly this six and eight this six and eight they will be uh, exchanged as well so it will become eight here okay and now seven was transported with three so three will come here and six will come here and nine will come here so you can see one diagonal element this one five nine one five nine this diagonal element will remain same after transposing this diagonal element will remain same after transposing and now look now very very easy it is so this is our transpose matrix after that after that what i will do i will simply do uh, one thing like the last row look first row first row will become last row and second last row will become second first row in this way we will uh, let's say swap the whole row swap the whole rows okay so after swapping the whole rows last row will become first row it will be something like three six nine middle row will remain as it is because on swapping also it will become same and after that one four seven one four seven which is the first row will become the last row and uh, yeah we have got the answer as well you can see we have got the answer three six nine two five eight one four seven this is our required answer all right i hope it will be very very clear to you how are we going to tackle this problem and uh, solve this so if you have loved the explanation till this point don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video because you will get this video every day every day in the in the night only i will be uploading so if when you will wake up in morning you will always get the videos tutorial so please subscribe the channel we are on the way to complete 1500 subscribers as well so we are going to write the code for it now okay all right let's first of all take n is equal to mat dot length as it is a uh, square matrix as it is a square matrix so both will be same both uh, number of rows and number of columns will be same after that i will calculate the transpose of a matrix i is equal to zero i is less than n i plus plus and after that one more, look one thing i'm going to type which is wrong but and after that i will correct it as well j plus plus okay something like this and after that look what i told matrix ij matrix ij will become matrix ji matrix ij will become matrix ji so similarly sim very simply i will create a swap function i will pass matrix here i will pass i here i will pass j there and uh, yeah let's calculate take one uh, swap function static void swap and uh, mat int i int j okay all right so here first of all int pmp will be equal to matrix of ij matrix of ij will become equal to matrix of ji and matrix of j i will become equal to tmp so in this way this is a very uh, easy very easy peasy uh, swap function so first of all what i will do i will simply swap the sub i and j but here you can see you will see one thing which is a very very big issue here so look something is like one two three so when the when the pointer will move to zero one zero row first column it will change it to first row zero column it will change to first row zero column okay so it will something like become one four three two five six seven eight nine okay after let's suppose after this transpose only after this transpose now only th three four five six all are remaining i'm just showing you after this so one four three two five six seven eight nine okay all right so here you can see this two and four this two and four are transposed all right but what will happen is what will happen is after that if when program when uh, pointer when let's say this uh first row and zero column control will come here first row and zero column again it will be swapped again it will be swapped so again i will get the same thing one two three four five six seven eight nine which is wrong which is wrong so then all the numbers all the indexes all the elements are transposed two times with this code 
with this code all the elements are transposed two times which is wrong and uh, if i will transpose two times so it will again reach to its original position so we have to stop that how can i stop that if i has if this is transposed so this should not be transposed if this 3 is transposed so this 7 should not be transposed if this 6 is transposed this 8 should not be transposed okay all right how can i do that so it's a very very easy thing so i and j now will become equal to i and now it, it's done now it's done so this only one thing we have to do okay so now look for the first time j i is equal to 0 so this j will run for all the three elements and we will simply transpose them okay all right after that after that i will become 1 i will become 1 so only this 5 and 6 will be transposed only this 5 and 6 will be transposed okay all right after that after that i will become 2 i will become 0 1 2 so at that point only 9 will be transposed 7 8 will not be transposed so because if it will be transposed two times it will be transposed two times it will again become the same array i hope you are getting this point very very clearly all right so after doing this after doing this my new array after transposing uh, i think i have told already but let's show once again it will be something like 1 4 7 2 5 8 and 3 6 9 something like this something like this okay all right so after that what i will do after that what i will do i will simply swap these columns i will simply swap these columns swap these rows swap these rows so first row will become last row last row will become first row second last row will become second first row second row in the charting and this way okay all right so for that for that what i will do is again for int i is equal to 0 i is less than n by 2 i plus plus and uh, for int j is equal to 0 j is less than n j plus plus and now we will simply transpose we will simply uh, let's say what let's say swap again swap so now it will become something like int tmp is equal to matrix of ij okay all right and now matrix of ij will become equal to what will become equal to what look three so if the row is first if the if the row is first so at that point i will be zero so now it will become something like matrix of i sorry matrix of n minus one minus i j and j will be same okay so something like this something like this i hope it will be very very clear to you and now matrix of n minus one minus j will become equal to tmp so yeah in this way only two steps are there so look i why i'm doing it divide by n by 2 because again it is the same thing again it is the same thing if at any point let's suppose i change this to 147 will now become 369 but again when the program control will come to the last row the program control will come to the last row again it will be switched again it will be moved to top so again i will get the same matrix so to avoid two times avoid two times what i will do i will only swap the first starting n by two rows i will only swap starting n by two rows and not all the rows because if i will swap all the rows i will get the same thing again okay all right same uh, array again so to avoid it I, we are avoiding it now let's submit this directly and check if it is getting accepted or not meanwhile if you are wondering what is this wash tutorial button so i have made okay i think i've done a very silly mistake some point it should be i here okay let's compile and run this and uh, if you are wondering what is this wash tutorial button so i have made a very cool chrome extension for you you should surely download it from the pinned comment link and it's absolutely safe and free please download it this code you will get on my github so make sure you start the repository as well and i'm going to see you again tomorrow if this code is running yeah it is running so yeah that was it guys if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel